hello guys welcome back to our channel so today we are going to crack authentication governance super bad unit so let's get started for this we have a user authentication as a prerequisite as we have already completed that i'll provide a video link in description so do check that guys and subscribe to our channel to get notifications on every new upload so let's get started so for this i have already completed creating a developer edition i'm just going to start this so click on launch so you're in quick find i'm just going to search for a permission set so click on a permission set here you will find mfa authorization required so just open the link in a new tab and switch to that new tab so here select manage assignments add assignment we are just going to click the checkbox next to campfire and assign click on done and now go back to our uh, previous tab and search for i click on a s so click on a single sign on here select manage assignments your uh, select add assignments we are going to choose checkbox as next to user integration user security and chatter expert as well as rachel ias click on assign and done yeah that's all we have completed our uh, first challenge so let's check this now yeah guys we have completed our first challenge successfully so let's go for our challenge number two so for our second challenge we are just going to app launcher and search for reports select reports and here we are just going to create a new folder go back to our challenge scroll up and just copy this data and paste it over here click on save now select a new report so here we are just going to click on the administrative reports and user click on start report you will get a page like this so switch to filter tab for last login you just need to give range as last 30 days click on that and click on apply so for view we are just going to give it as all users click on apply and here we are just going to enable this update preview automatically again we need to toggle to outline so your uh, select group as uh, login status so just scroll down and uh, click on login status there so now we are just going to disable this detail rows which is given down now I'm just going to save and run this so for report name go back to our challenge and uh, copy this paste it over here for uh, description I'm just going to copy this and paste it click on a select folder we are going to just choose our folder as user authentication reports 
now select folder and click on save yeah we have saved this login attempts by status now click that login attempts by status again click on new report go back to our challenge and copy this so for we are just going to click on users start report again we are uh, going to do the same method which we have followed already for the first thing so now click on last 30 days click on apply so for this click all users and apply so here in search bar I'm just going to search for a login status click on that not equal to type uh, success over here click on apply so now toggle to outline for group rows we are just going to type username username as well as or login status click on that so now we are just going to deselect this detail rows save and run and here just paste the data which we had already copied so for report description i'm just going to copy this and paste it over here now select folder as user authentication reports and click on select folder and save so for uh, creating our third record i'm just again going to click on new report and repeat the process by selecting users start report so toggle to filters so repeat the same process by giving a uh, last 30 days click on apply so for view we are just going to give us all users and apply go to outline so for here we are just going to select method and status click method and type as status now we are uh, just going to deselect this detail rows click on save and run go back to our challenge and copy this and paste it over here for description again i'm just going to copy this and paste it over here for folder we are just going to select user authentication reports select folder save so again uh, create a new report click on users start report so go for filter so here we are just going to choose our uh, login status equals success click on apply so now i'm just going to select our ranges last 30 days click on apply so i'm just going to give for all users and apply again so now here uh, again search for a uh, login type click on that and it does not contain your give sso click on apply again we are just going to search filter for method click on method which is equal to no selection apply 
and now go back to our outline and click for a login type yeah it's right over here and search for uh, username click on that now let's deselect this detail rows click on save and run go back to our challenge and copy this paste it over here and for description again i'm just going to copy this and paste it over here now we'll click on a select folder and do the same process click on save so we have saved this report now let's get back to our challenge and check your challenge now yeah guys we have completed our uh, second challenge too now let's go for our third challenge which is a configure concurrent session email action now let's go back to our uh, setup we are just going to search for a flow in quick find click on flows so in this list of flows we are just going to select concurrent user authentication login flow click on that so this is our uh, flow builder i'm just going to click and drag this action to screen so here on the left select email so for uh, action i'm just going to select the one which is already over there and for label i'm just going back to our challenge and copy this and paste it over here and api name is auto populated one and for uh, body uh, we need to select uh, email body copy and paste it over here and select this for uh, subject email subject so copy and paste it over here and now for recipient email address we are just going to copy that and so we are uh, just going to enable the second uh, thing which is our recipient email addresses separated by comma so just paste it over here and click on done so now just uh, click on this block and delete this with the help of delete key in your system and from decision just click on the circle and pull it over here to action and select block over here click on done we are uh, now going to connect this uh, action over the screen so click on uh, save as click on save and activate let's go back to our uh, setup and click for uh, login flows click on that so now we are just going to create a new login flow for that copy this data the very first data and click on new type as a flow for name i'm just going to paste it over here and select for a uh, uh, flow for a concurrent user authentication login flow user license uh, salesforce profile as standard user select standard user click on save so again uh, you just need to click on a login flow we are just going to create another new login flow now select the second most data and type as flow paste the name over here and concurrent user so now we are 
just going to give a user license uh, same like before salesforce uh, so here they are asking for a sales profile right so for this select a customer sales profile click on save and we are all ready to check up our challenge now click on check challenge yeah guys we have successfully completed this challenge too see you all on next super badge video until then bye bye